Nice to have you with us. This is the show where we run through a crazy obstacle course and in the process win eight fabulous prizes. As you could tell by that opening stunt, we've had a lot of fun. It's been Celebrity Week, and this one man has made it very fun for all of us here. You see him all the time on a show called Small Wonder. A big welcome for Jerry Suprian. Well, I, I love your enthusiasm. When you were cracking those eggs, yolks were going all over the place. On your way over, you slipped and you spent more time on this floor this week. <laughs> but have you enjoyed it? I really enjoyed it. I've had a lot of fun. Oh, good. I'm so glad that you said that. And I'd like you to say hello to your partner, Jen. Hi, Jen. How are you? Thanks. Good. <laughs> Says here that you collect lions and tigers, not real ones, I'm no. assuming. Huh? <laughs> what kind of lions and tigers? Like ceramic ones and pictures. Okay. You have $20. And uh, I'd like you... The team name, by the way, is... Crazy Critters. The Crazy Critters. Okay. Uh, say hello to a young lady who I've enjoyed equally as well. She is terrific. She's a great actress, and you see her all the time on a show called Charles in Charge, Josie Davis. <laughs> You've managed to stay just a bit neater, uh, but I hope you've enjoyed it as well, have you? Oh, yes, it's fun. Oh, good. And you're very smart, too. Both Thank of you are very you. intelligent. And I'd like you to say hello to Tony. He's your partner today. Hi, Tony. <laughs> You want to be an actor, they tell me, huh? Yes, sir. Who's your favorite actor currently? Bill Cosby. Yeah, good choice. Good choice. Hold on. <laughs> Jerry, did you not like that choice? Is that it? <laughs> Jerry got a little upset about that. Anyway, uh, your team name is? Burton, Burton Express. Express. Burton Express. Let me explain that. Uh, the executive <laughs> producer on your show, right? Yes. It's Al Burton, and I've known Al for a long time, promised <laughs> me lots of work, and uh, I'm still waiting, Al. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, Josie was nice enough to say to get his, uh, he, she'd get his name on, and uh, we finally got it. The Burton Express, the Al Burton Express. <laughs> Maybe if I keep saying it, he will give me a job. Okay, uh, let's talk about the show where Dairy for Dollars will double your bucks, and here's how it works. I'm going to ask you a question, and if you don't know the answer or think the other team hasn't got a clue, you can dare them to answer it for double the dollars. But be careful, because they can always double dare you back for four times the amount, and then you either have to answer that question or take the physical challenge. You have $20 in control. If you wanted to write the symbol for a kiss, what letter of the alphabet would you use? Would bring you to 30, or you could dare them. 
quickly before time runs out. There. All right, now we're 20. Get on the board. If you wanted to write the symbol for a kiss, what letter of the alphabet would you use? Easy, it's an X. That's right, it's an X. <laughs> oh, my God. I like the way Josie rubbed it in saying to Jerry, it's easy, it's an X. It's so easy. You know, just double to get double money. Oh, that was it. See, <laughs> little strategy there. Yeah. Uh, what weekly TV show scans the globe to bring you the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat? It's worth 10 would give you the lead. <laughs> we dare. Dare him. Okay, let's see how easy it is over here. What weekly TV show scans the globe to bring you the thrill of victory and the agony of defeat? Wide World of Sports? Dun, da, da, dun, 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 da, da. A poor man who always takes the fall at the bottom. It's easy. It's easy. <laughs> right, Jerry. Okay, you had the lead. Uh, which was invented first? Was it the fork or the spoon? Would bring you to 50 or you could dare them? Spoon. Spoon is right. I have no idea how you knew that, but that is right. How did you know that? Well, well I'm used to those spoons that have the fork in them, so I said, why not guess for the spoon? <laughs> Okay, and if you need an uh, explanation of that, send 10 cents to Merkel Press and uh, they'll find out. Anyway, according to the Sagamore Institute's Humor Project, how many times does the average person laugh in one day? 15, 30, or 50 times? Oh, you can dare them. 15. Unless you're watching the show and then it's 50. Yes, that's right. Uh, add another $10 over there. You now have $60. <laughs> Welcome back. It is still round one, and the Crazy Critters have control. They have $60, but Jerry, you have one thing you wanted to say. We mentioned Al, her producer. Who did you want to mention? I wanted to say hi to my little brother, Ricky. I promised I'd say hi to him, so hi, Ricky. Very nice of you. Okay. Here's your question. It's a musical question. Teenage singing sensation Tiffany took the country by storm when she sang, she sang in shopping malls. What's Tiffany's last name? Well, you can dare them. There. All right, now we're 20. Teenage singing sensation Tiffany took the country by storm when she sang in shopping malls. What is Tiffany's last name? Dare. Now worth 40. What's your last name? Well, you can take the physical challenge. Physical challenge? It's Darwish. Boy, I didn't know that. Tiffany Darwish. And we have a physical challenge right over here. Darwish. <laughs> it's like it. Well, you know, this is. Try and read that. It's like a tongue twister. By storm when she sang in shopping malls? Teenage or? singing sensation Tiffany took the country by storm when she sang in shopping malls. Okay, well, you host the show next time, all right? Uh, anyway, uh, what do we have over here? It's William Tell. Do tell. How does this work, Robin? <laughs> Dave, stand back. Okay, I tell you what, your last day here. We want to make sure that you really have a memorable experience. So you have a seat right over there. No, no, and no, no, I tell you what, Jerry, I'd really like you to have a seat no, no. right over there, Jerry. Just right over there. there. You want me to sit there? Okay. And you step right over here because you get to shoot that apple right off Jerry's head. You do it with the seltzer. It's very easy. Listen to him because he'll say higher or lower to the left or to the right. Okay. But before that happens, Robin would like you to use her blindfold. Absolutely. And if you knock that off in 20 seconds or less, we'll give you 40. Higher already. <laughs> okay, good luck. On your mark, get set, go! Enough. I just want to make sure. <laughs> there you go. Somehow I think I'm going to get killed at the obstacle course. Yes, let's move over here and uh, carry on. <laughs> okay, we've lost control. $40 goes over here to Josie and Anthony, and they have a tie score here. Some, uh, some calendar math. Add all the letters in the names of months that begin with vowels. Add all the letters in the names of months that begin with vowels, or you can dare them. Quickly before time runs oh, out. Shoot. Um, how many <laughs> oh, you lost control. It's 18. April has 5, August 6, October 7. No dare at stake, no money changing place. Control back to the crazy critters. The teddy bear derives its name from the 26th president of the United States, 
Name that president. Teddy Roosevelt. Right. Take the lead by ten dollars. Good job there. Jen, Jerry, what is tophus? Is it a small saltwater eel? Is it tartar on your teeth, or is it the Greek god of tofu? Tophus. Or you can dare. What, say the choices again. Uh, a small saltwater eel, a tartar on your teeth, or the Greek god of tofu. A small saltwater eel. Is incorrect. It's tartar on your teeth. No dare at stake, no money changing place. Control over here. You could tie it up. What movie starred River, River Phoenix as the son of suspected members of the KGB and Sidney Poitier as an FBI agent? What's the movie? Yes. Yeah. Little Nikita. You are right, and you have tied the score. Little Nikita is the answer. What a great game we have here today. And that sound means it is the end of round one, and with $70 apiece, we have nobody in the lead. But we will after this because we'll come back with a $40 toss-up. In round two, the dollar value is double. We have a great obstacle course. Come back. We're having lots of fun on Double Dare. We'll be back after this. It's round two on Double Dare, and that means all the dollar values will be doubled. And when you hear this sound, that means the game is over. Just testing our camera people today. Anyway, uh, we're trying to break this tie. $40 at stake, and uh, gee whiz, you know, these things cost a lot of money. It's 40 bucks an hour on a weekend. No, anyway, this is a plunger ball swap. Get that ball right over there onto your partner's plunger and bring it back past the line. If it drops, go back and start again. Who's going to get the lead? Let's find out together. On your mark, get set, go! Get across there and exchange it. over a foot first, they said. Nice job. Congratulations. Okay. It was very close. Jerry seemed to have the lead, but Anthony whipped across that line and took the lead by $40. Congratulations. Only two U.S. presidents are buried in Arlington National Cemetery. One is William Howard Taft. Who is the other president? Or oh, you can dare them. Dare. Now worth 40 you could tie it up. John F. Kennedy. I'm so glad you brought that up. That is the answer. Yes, John F. Kennedy is the answer. Wow. Can't get anything by this guy. Which 21 Jump Street, seen on Fox, which 21 Jump Street actor has a dad who has been in many movies with Burt Reynolds? We'll give you the lead by $20. Or you can dare them. Quickly before time runs out. Dare. Now worth $40. 21 Jump Street, what actor has a dad who's been in many movies with Burt Reynolds? Eloise. Uh, is that enough? Uh, we need more information. Or you can double dare them back. Uh, Quickly. Double dare. Double dare. Okay, 21 Jump Street. What actor has a dad who's been in more movies with Burt Reynolds than anybody else on that show? Or you can take the physical challenge. John DeLuise? Oh, no. It was Peter DeLuise. Peter. $80 goes over here to the Burton Express. <laughs> Took the chance, and it didn't pay off this time. Okay, Josie and Anthony, when Captain James Cook first discovered the Hawaiian Islands, he called them what? Was it the Paradise Islands, the Sandwich Islands, or the Islands of Love? The Love Islands. Paradise. Is incorrect. It's the it's Sandwich Islands. No dare sandwich. steak, no money changing oh place. Let's move over here to Jerry and Jen. What do the letters of NATO literally mean? N-A-T-O. Would bring you up to 130, or you could dare them. There. Now worth 40. The letters N-A-T-O, they literally mean what? Well, you can double dare them back. Double dare. What do they mean? Are we taking a physical challenge? Physical challenge. North Atlantic Treaty Organization, and this could tie the game right over here. Let's see what happens. Step in this direction, if you would, please, Jen. Please let her get wet. Let her get wet? We're not going to get wet. We're actually going to get sticky together. And let me show you how we're going to get sticky. Right over here. Did you see the movie Dirty Dancing? Mm -hmm. Come on over here, Jen. Did you see that movie? No. Oh, well, we're going to show you what dirty dancing on Double Dare means. Step in this direction. I'd like you to see, Jen, don't be nervous. I need you to step over here. We have some jelly donuts, and what you're going to do is dance. And the way you're going to do it is you face, are you going to face that way? And you face Robin. And between your ears, we are going to put a jelly donut, okay? And you have to dance. No, turn the other way, because this is dirty dancing on Double Dare, and we want to make sure that you get really sticky. And you have to keep that together and walk all the way across here and get it in the plate. Then walk back, do it again. Two donuts is what you have in the plate two donuts okay they are jelly donuts on your mark get set you know i know i just want to make sure that that they really have a lot of jelly in them let me see there's it's got jelly. It's got jelly. 
No, it's not too much. Robin, put some more jelly on there. I think I'd like to see lots of jelly on there. I mean, we're going to do jelly donuts. Let's do jelly donuts. Don't you agree, audience? Oh, yeah, that, there you go. Okay, now... <laughs> Poor Jerry's taking it to this week. Okay, put it between the ears. Two in the plate in 20 seconds. We'll add $80 to your score. On your mark. Get set. Go! Get on your hands. Score. $190 a piece. That was well done, Jen and Jerry. You can take the lead with this $20 question. You know what? That sound means at the end of the game, we have a tie score. And you know what that means? I'll tell you. Our first here on Double Dare, and let me tell you why we rang that buzzer. You each have $190. You each get $190. I don't want anybody to go away a loser today. Yes, folks, you never know who you might meet on the <laughs> obstacle course. <laughs> Jeff, you all right back there? <laughs> okay. Anyway, a uh, friend of ours here on the course. Congratulations, you both made it here today. Thanks for being with us this whole week. And now you get to run the course, 60 seconds or less, and Jen and Tony get all the prizes. So you are starting off? Yeah. Okay, you know how to do this. Walk around, make those lights light up. You will be over there, Josie, grabbing that flag off that boxing glove. And what will Josie and, uh, or actually, uh, Jen and Tony get for this? Well, they'll get LaSonic's portable AM FM stereo radio cassette recorder. It features auto reverse and 30 watts of music power, and it's from LaSonic. In case you didn't know, in case it was uh, not obvious, Celebrity Week, we have the uh, mirrored sunglasses, and uh, don't look too bad today. Anyway, there is uh, the nose, the nostrils are there with lots of green goop. Pull that flag out, pass it over to your partner, and you'll win this. The Coleman Sandy Beach Collection includes Fiesta Cabana, three handy totes, flip-top personal cooler, and a three-person inflatable boat. It's from the Coleman Company. Jerry gets number three, and this is Icy Trike. You must sit down on that seat and go all the way across. This is very slippery, so it'll take you longer than you think. Come this way, Josie. <laughs> Josie goes, yuck. There is the flag. You'll take it off. You'll pass it over to Josie, and you'll win this for your party. <laughs> Josie, turn around, he's saying, because uh, he wants you to look at the camera, but now I want you to turn the other way and take a look at fancy footwork. Somebody has to go underneath that, and that somebody is you, I believe, right? Yes. Okay, crawl underneath, don't get stomped on, get that flag, and waiting patiently on the other side will be Jerry, and then he'll move to the other obstacle, but let's find out what the prize is. It's Alant, a new popularly priced lightweight by Murray. Featuring 12 speeds, fully lugged frame, and three-piece crank, Alant by Murray, ride with the winner. This is the third time you've been in the sewer shoot, right? I think it's the fourth. Is it the fourth, <laughs> Mike? But who's counting? And uh, you need to crawl through that tube. You need to pull on that little rope. And then the flag and something else might drop down upon you. You know all the rest. Crawl, climb up the ladder and down the chute. And it says, from front to back, this is Ugly Gack. And that Gack will be on you. And then you'll pass the flag to Josie. And then you'll win this. The Nintendo. <laughs> This one is really difficult. Did you yeah. get a chance to look at this at all? Kind of, yeah. Yes, you want to get your feet right uh, in these particular areas, otherwise you're going to fall on through. Once you get up to that bar, you can pick up more time by taking that flag off, passing it to Jerry, and then they'll win this prize. A $600 KB gift certificate. Where do you go to find great toys? KB Toy Stores. And where do you go to find KB Toy Stores? Your nearest shopping mall. KB America's Toy Stores. Well, I have the uh, large uh, size industrial strength uh, Parmesan cheese to put on this blue plate special today, which happens to be spaghetti. And somewhere in all that spaghetti is a flag buried, and you need to find it, you need to pass it, and you need to win this. The Magnavox <laughs> Discussing strategy, what'd you tell Josie? I said, this is easy. This is easy. Have you been down it? No. Not at all. Well, how do you know it's easy then? Because Adam 
went down it oh. when we won the time before. Oh, a couple days ago. That's right. All right. Well, you get to do it now, right? Yeah. Well, watch this. Lift it up. Go on down. There's lots of spaghetti left, and all you have to do is slide down the digestive tract and end up over here. And if you have this flag in your hand, guess what? Harvey, tell them what the grand prize is. A pass! <laughs> the hatch there, Jerry, but I don't want to get your feet wet. I want you to win this thing, and you have 60 seconds to do it, and I know that uh, Jen and Tony want you to do it because they want to go to Disney World. Good luck. On your mark. Get set. Go, walk up there. What prizes, Harvey? Well, Mark, it's the Lasonic Boombox, the Coleman Package, the International News Clothes, the Murray Bike, the Nintendo, the KB Gift Certificate, and the Magnavox Word Writer. For Jen and Tony, it's a prize package of over $2,400 each. Come on up, Jerry. You know, you've been such a great sport all week, and you talked about how easy it was to go down the hatch. What I'd like you to do is demonstrate down the hatch, since you're already sort of gacked up anyway. Show them how easy it really is. You got about 50. It's okay. It's okay. No, go ahead. Audience, you want them to go down, don't you, huh? And then, Josie, you can go down if you like. Who's going to do it? Josie's going to do it. Let's see. Get it all over. There you go. <laughs> Terrific. We've had a great week, Celebrity Wise, here. Come on over, Jerry. Thank you, Josie. Have a good time, and we hope that you'll join us often. Bye-bye. Congratulations. Promotional consideration provided by Reebok. Every contestant on Double Dare receives a free pair of Reebok sneakers. Reebok for that extra obstacle course support because life is not a spectator sport. And promotional consideration provided by Green Slime Shampoo. Get you clean, won't turn you green. Now you can get slime in your own shower. And also by Smith Corona, the amazing XP6700 portable electronic typewriter from Smith Corona with building features like Spell Right Dictionary, the Swords, Word Eraser Collection, and much, much more. This is your announcer, Harvey Stan. Join us back here next time for more messy fun right here on Double Dare. See ya.